is a sorry not a sorry for those of us who have gone through breakup separation or divorce there are often moments where you know we wonder was i really over sensitive should i really have accepted that was it really okay and i was just overreacting well if you've gone through gaslighting in a relationship then it's very common for us to have self gaslighting as well so today i'm going to talk about one of the particular issues in communication which is when is a sorry not a sorry what is sorry sorry is something you say to someone if your words behavior or something that you have done has affected them in a negative way but if you say something like i'm sorry ya so many times i've said sorry now can't you just like get over it that's not a true apology if somebody says okay i am sorry that's not a true apology if somebody says i mean i'm sorry if i offended you but that's not a true apology if somebody says okay i mean i'm sorry but you know just because the tone has changed that's not a true apology yeah okay i'm sorry now let's get on with it that's not a true apology i guess i'm sorry i mean you know if you're just going to keep arguing about it it's okay i'm just going to say i'm sorry so just we can move on that's not a true apology so what is a true apology what are the various parts which go into making a true apology a true apology is one where the person says the words you want to hear which is oh i'm so sorry i forgot about that or you know i'm really sorry i wasn't able to show up for you in that way i'm really sorry because you are hurt i really really understand how difficult it must have been and how painful and how hurtful and i really really apologize for having played a part in that those are all genuine apologies because they indicate remorse on the behalf of the person who has done something so they feel bad for what they have done not because you are calling them out and saying why did you do it or you're holding them accountable they are feeling bad because it hurt you so what they are saying is they care enough about you that you being hurt makes them feel upset and therefore they are apologizing to you an ideal apology is also followed by some kind of an amend so i'm really sorry i completely forgot about it can i make it up to you by planning you know another dinner with you or oh i'm really sorry you know i borrowed your thing and now it's broken can i please pay for it or can i buy you a replacement or if it is something in a relationship i'm really sorry i should have paid more attention to what you were saying i made you feel you know like i neglected you i'm really sorry for that can i make amends by you know let's take out some time i'll just sit and listen to you because i really do care about what is happening in your life i want to share this journey with you together that is an absolutely wonderful apology so learn to recognize when is a sorry not a sorry and while i don't know whether they're necessarily you know big red flags because sometimes all of us brush off or you know give an apology in a hurry but it's important for us to consciously recognize that if this is a pattern if the other person is never able to apologize in a way that makes you feel safe and you know somebody who accepts the fact that you were hurt by their actions or behavior then that is probably a toxic relationship